that is an area of concern for Minnesota. It was on Friday. It is here again. Dewana Bonner grabs the opening tip. Just showing more energy on the defensive end, player to player, helping, communicating, just the small basic things. Offensive rebound by Brianna Jones. McBride catch and shoot no good. Alyssa Thomas, first rebound of the night. She tracked down number 10 with 16 and a half seconds left to get her triple-double. Courtney Williams with the jumper. And we will see John Quell Jones. We assume, anyway, that was the plan for Kurt Miller tonight. Neelich, the fake left, the turn right. Shepard is in the starting lineup as she was on Friday for Demiris Dantas, who is missing some time for personal reasons. Jefferson the drive, Neelich offensive rebound, and the left-handed put back. He's back, he's shooting this game. He can probably hear us, nice job. Oh, Alyssa Thomas hangs in the air, takes the contact, makes the hoop. Nina Milic. Powers drives to the hoop. Puts it up and in. Ariel Powers with her first basket tonight. Both teams making some adjustments. Connecticut does get it in and gets it in to Jones. And they work it around to Heideman who takes the three. Natisha Heideman hits Connecticut's first three of the game. Natalia Chanwa also in the game for Minnesota. McBride drives baseline. The floater is good. Kurt Miller talked about they really wanted to lock her down on Friday night, a player that they focus on. Courtney Williams tries to do the same thing and does. That mid-range game for Williams. Bonner to a cutting Jones, fouled by Achanwa. Brianna Jones will go to the free throw line after taking the contact and getting the hoop. Brianna Jones knocked away by Achanwa. Carrington in the lane, guarded by McBride, puts on a nice move. Have bad passes, make it difficult for them. Carlton takes the three-pointer, no hesitation at all from Bridget Carlton. Hartley finds Bonner in the corner. Offensive rebound, Carrington to Jonquil Jones. And Jones hits her first field goal for playing the center position at 6-6. She can launch it. Which makes her so difficult. And Rachel Banham can launch it as well. Big shot. And Nina Milic starting tonight as Sylvia Fowles sits out with a sore right knee. Jones, the three-pointer. Being everywhere, being active. Bonner slings it in to Jones. That's Brianna Jones on a heck of an assist from Dewana Bonner. Gets it back from Jonquel Jones. Works her way to the rim. Crowd wanted a travel call. A second chance opportunity goes in, and it'll be a foul against the Lynx. Six points for Kayla McBride. Heideman stops, hit, looks at the three-pointer, and hits it. Jefferson with Bonner staying back on defense. Powers the three ball. Achamba tips it to Shepard, and there's the basket. Jessica Shepard pushes it ahead for Minnesota. Powers drives to the lane, gets free. Ariel Powers off the glass. It was more the defense, though, that Cheryl Reeve was concerned with from Powers. Off the dribble, AP hits another one. More desperate team is on the court right now, knowing that a win here tonight would be huge. Alyssa Thomas off the glass with the left hand. You can see how difficult points in the paint are going to be in this one. It's just battling for rebounds, and there's a lot of bodies down low. Williams gets the roll. Six seconds on the shot clock. Natisha Heideman working. The lob pass corralled by Brianna Jones, and that was an impressive catch and finish. Finals five seconds of the first half. Bantam to Achanwa. She'll put it up and hit it. Natalie Achanwa's basket breaks an 8-0 Connecticut run. Milich. And Milich gets the hoop over Thomas. Plays off the sidelines. Yeah. He said he was out coached in those situations. Powers gets free. Powers guarded by Jones. She gets it into Milic. Milic over Bonner. Nina Milic with 12 points. From Duana Bonner on that one. Really nice physical play. Connecticut only has one point in this third quarter. Make it three. 
The roll doesn't go. Thomas was there, and McBride takes that away. Let's see if the Lynx can get some offense before the sun gets set. Jefferson in the paint for the two. Mariah Jefferson's first field goal of the night. Chanma gets in there for the rebound, but she is hounded by Sun players. Hands it off to Jefferson, and there's Mariah Jefferson. Dijanae Carrington to Bonner. Still scoreless in this game, Duana Bonner. And there it is, the first basket. First points of the night for Bonner. That's incredible. 13 turnovers have led to one single point. Hartley. The three, well that changes it. That'll add three more, but Bria Hart. Jacquel Jones, the rebound. She's back in after having played nine minutes in the first half and scoring eight points. Bonner from the baseline ends up on the deck, but Dewana Bonner hit that shot, a tough one at that. She's starting to heat up here at Target Center. Makes it a seven point Connecticut lead. Bannum gets the ball on the baseline up and in for Rachel Bannum. Great take right there by Rachel Bannum. Biggest lead for Connecticut tonight has been 12. Minnesota led very early on by two. And Heidemann's three pointer will stretch the lead for Connecticut in the final minutes of the third quarter. Minnesota will be heading to Atlanta to play the dream on the 28th. And that is Thursday. It's a six o'clock game here on Valley Sports. You gotta have a hand in her face and she knows, she's starting to feel it. And it is a three-pointer by Heidemann. Powers gets to the hoop. Jones finds a streaking Bonner. Dewana Bonner did not score for a long time in this game until late in the third. Now she's got seven points. Can we keep her on the court? Thomas goes right at Milich, and Nina didn't have much of a choice. Alyssa Thomas. Ariel Powers is starting to be more aggressive on the offensive end, but they have to find someone who can score that ball. Powers, a great look inside to Achanwa. The Lynx defense has been more aggressive in this game than it was Friday night, no doubt. Heidemann with shot clock running down, gets it off. Hits it with the left hand, Natisha Heidemann. Making a tough basket. A really tough basket, and Connecticut continues to find ways to score on the Lynx defense. Jefferson to a cutting Nina Milich, who's up to 14 points. From the corner, Courtney Williams. No, Bonner gets up there, tips it to Thomas. Williams gonna try it again. This is a three-pointer from Courtney Williams. And gives Cheryl Reeve a little tap on the back after she hit it. A 10-point Connecticut lead. And Bannum has the answer from the baseline. Rachel Bannum's second three-pointer of the game. Connecticut in control since then. Kind of keeping Minnesota at arm's length. Thomas jumps the passing lane. Alyssa Thomas goes in for the layup. Minnesota has had 15 turnovers. So far, eight Connecticut points. That's it. The Sun has turned it over 16 times at 16 Minnesota points. The more minutes she gets on the court, the better she gets. That's what we've seen this season. Shepard the rebound and put back. Scoring the ball that well here in the second half, but she has eight rebounds and now up to six points. Jones puts a physical move on Achanwa. Just bumped her heavy with the shoulder. Zone defense trying to hold off this Connecticut Sun team. Bridget Carlton gives the Lynx three from the baseline. Here's Powers, had a Chanwa for a moment, didn't see her. Stolen away, Courtney Williams. Bonner picks up the dribble. Heidemann as Jefferson goes flying by. Oh, Natisha Heidemann! Right back to Bantam, gets her feet set for three. Off the rim, Thomas has it, loose ball, Chanwa has it. Powers lets it fly, she hits it! And time runs out. A heck of an effort by the Lynx tonight. Much more aggression, especially on the defensive end. But ultimately, the end result is the Connecticut win. 86-79, to 79, your final at Target Center.